Good morning. Rocket Rolls coming at you. I believe today is March 2nd. Um, uh, I got to do better about getting my leg over this thing. Ooh. Uh, got to do better about parking on the incline as well. Um, this is a replacement video. I made a video on the way up here. And I wasn't that satisfied with it. So I'm going to make another video. And talk about the exact same stuff. Just a little tighter, a little shorter. And you know, I haven't really been making a lot of videos this winter. I've been riding occasionally, but just not comfortable with my setup on the camera. And a few other little issues I've been having. But um, overall... It's been a pretty mild winter and I'm pretty okay with it. I um oh, it looks like there might have been some ice there a little bit earlier. It's melted. That's okay. But um This is the new Rocket Rolls ride. This is the Africa Twin. 22, let's see, 2020. Where's the turn? I don't know where the turn is. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, now, no. Sometimes I walk up here to the stadium. Um, this is the 2020 Africa Twin Standard Manual 1100D, CRF 1100D. She's got 1084 cc, 270 degree crank parallel twin. Uh, I want to say about nine inches on the front of suspension, and oh, maybe I should have turned there. Yeah, I didn't do that right. I don't know. We'll figure it out. About eight inches in the back. Uh, that could be off a bit. Ground, ground clearance, I want to say, is around nine inches. And let's see what else. She weighs approximately 500 pounds. You know how true to that number Honda is. I'm gonna put it on a scale one day and find out. Um, and I like to put it on a scale before I start putting any of the add-ons. I'm definitely going to, well, eventually put an alt rider skid plate on here. I might do some little light off-roading with the current skid plate, but I'm not gonna do anything challenging. Not that I can really do challenging. Um, until after I put the alt rider skid plate on. Um, definitely, and I say definitely, I'm most probably going to look at the electric power chargers. Yeah, y'all know I want to go electric. I almost went electric with this. Um, this wasn't the turn I wanted. But let's go this way anyway. So, yeah, I almost went electric with this purchase, but I decided to go with the 270 degree parallel twin. Go on by, buddy. I'm trying to ride slow. Because I'm talking. And what did I miss? Let's see. We were talking about specs. Mm. Tornado. That's her name. And so here's the thing. All my bikes are, um, well, all my vehicles have, been, have had names going back to when I was a teenager. And so... I started to call this this new bike Cinnamon 2, named after my C Honda CB500X that was my first bike, my first love, but I decided to let Cinnamon be Cinnamon. And so Tornado is named after Zorro. If you, anybody knows who Zorro is, you watch westerns or whatever. Um, Tornado was the name of Zorro's horse. And I'm going to say horse because... Um, Depending on what version of Zorro you're watching, sometimes Zorro was a male and sometimes Zorro was a female horse. You know. I don't know, can female horses be called steeds? I gotta go look that up. But um this is a nice, big, tall, powerful bike. I have I think I have the seat adjusted to the high level. The sales guy helped me out with it. Um He did a really great job too. He was you know, I really enjoyed working with the sales guy over at Crofton Honda Power Sports. Dave Newman is his name. 
Uh, I wasn't that crazy about the finance manager, but have you ever met a finance manager that you like? And it would have been better if I had, could have got some just straight answers out of him on some of the questions I was asking, but I always felt like he was trying to trick me. And, you know, kind of made me want to flex on, hey, dude, I'm an econ major. Hey, dude, you know, I study for my MBA at George Washington. I, I, I've taken more statistics and finance classes than you have, and, and, I, and I know you're lying, but no, I didn't do it. I just did it to y'all, though. Um, so, yeah, great bike. I love the electronics. I know people complain about it. Literally, dude, look, you can put it in the mode that you prefer, which for me is probably urban 90% um, of the time, and just start it up and start riding. You don't have to go in and change configurations every time you ride. So, yeah, it takes about 15 seconds to warm up um, as far as the um, TFT screen is concerned, but you don't have to wait for the TFT screen. Um, it really does take you like 15 minutes to get yourself together. I mean, not 15 minutes, five minutes to get yourself together after you first start your bike. So I don't know why people trip about the TFT warming up. I don't know why people worry about it having so many electronics because you can literally turn everything off. You can turn off the wheelie control. Then you have three settings above that. Um, unless you're just straight doing nooners, there's no reason to turn off the wheelie control. Put it on the lightest setting. It'll let you get up about 45, 50 degrees, and then it'll hold there. It's not going to let you loop the bike in case something happens. Um, traction control. Put it on the lowest setting. If it's on the lowest setting and the traction control kicks in, dude, you was about to crash. You, you, you ain't as good a rider as you thought you were. Same thing on the ABS. This ABS, if it kicks in, you needed it. You might not want to admit that you needed it, but you needed it. The um, signal controls cut off by themselves. Um, I talked about the traction control, talked about the various power settings. Um, the ABS, definitely, I love it. Um, it's got Bluetooth. I have not connected it up to my phone yet, but it does have Bluetooth. And um, it, I don't know if they uploaded to Android Auto yet. I need to check on that. Oh, okay. Ugh. That's good. I like the right mirror. The left mirror wasn't really too crazy about the setting on it, but I'm, I'm comfortable with it now. Um, I'm still getting used to riding it. It is a big bike. It's taller than cinnamon. Um, I love the matte black. I love the red. I'm going to get the um, red wind um, protectors um, for the plastic hand guards. Um, I'm just gonna put them on there. I, you know, I know at some point I'm gonna drop this baby. Hopefully, you know the. Hopefully, the plastic saves the. The calipers, and then I'm, you know, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some um, bark busters on here. I, you know, I want to add some things, but look, Mrs. Rocket is already, you know. Damn near ready to kill me. Um, going out and buying this bike. We've been we're planning for a new home purchase, but that probably won't be till next year. And I just didn't want to wait before I upgraded the bike, especially because Cinnamon didn't have ABS brakes. But um, yeah, I, I, I can't be doing a whole bunch of farkles and stuff. The little hand guards are only $18.99. Mrs. Rocket, so don't trip. Um, the bash plate on the bottom is 400 bucks. So that'll be a minute and um, you know the bark busters I actually like the carbon ones which are close to 300 but you know I can just get the bark buster bars which will give me the protection I need for a hundred bucks and I may just go ahead and do that just to take these plastics off and you know get the because the summer's coming up it's March um, so I'm thinking if I can make it to April without dropping her. If I can make it to make it to April without dropping her, I can put the um bark busters on there in April. Ride her through the summer without, you know, the the, the wind protection on my hands. I'll be fine. I usually would 
pull that type of stuff off in the summer anyway. I can also hold off on the windshield because um, I don't know. You guys can hear it. The wind is like kicking my ass as far as the noise. I don't have my earplugs in either because this was such a short trip. But um, at the end of the day, I think that I um, yeah, I think I can hold off on a few farkles till at least to the winter, um, like till November or so. And come November, I may at that point need to upgrade a few things to, to get through next winter but i think i'm good for the spring if i you see i don't have to have a bash plate i'm not going to do anything I might, I might want to do a bdr but I can, i'll take this plate on the bdr bdrs are all well the mid-atlantic bdr they're all roads they're not no single track or nothing so i should be okay um i should be okay with this bash plate for the rest of the year and then next spring I can get the alt rider bash plate maybe the price will come down maybe there'll be some other options I did order the um, the what do you call it the rear plate for for the back seat I didn't get the one that hangs off the back of the tail I got the one that replaces the rear seat because you, you know you guys know I never ride too up it's just I don't want the responsibility of riding with somebody else on the back. So I never ride two up. But I did get I did order that. So I ordered the hand, the wind protection for my hands to get me through till at least till well I'll probably leave, I'll leave it on there all summer. But um I did get that. I'm gonna use those this year. And you know, unless I put the bark busters on there and then you know I, I'll I'll figure that out as I go. And I did order the replacement for the rear seat, the mount, so that I could tie down a few things on the back seat, moves the weight a little forward. Um, i kind of been looking at some of the side luggage. I've been looking at some of the um, rear luggage and not really sure. We got the cruise control. I keep letting go. And we got the gold wing type left handlebar controls. I really haven't been playing with them as much. I've been studying, reading the book, looking at some videos, and I really like, you know, the direction these things are headed in. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, hmm, I feel like I ordered something else. Oh, I ordered an airbag vest. Got a really great price. Um, I saw one page where the comments were good. I saw another page. There were some people complaining, but they were basically complaining that the air canister wasn't included. And at the rate price I paid, well, I can say it now. I didn't want to tell people because I didn't want everybody buying it up before I got to it. $130. $130 for an air vest? Come on, let's hit this bump on purpose. Missed it. Damn it. Um, you know, $130 for an airbag vest for a motorcycle? <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, you know, it works. Um, I saw one comment said it was decent. Um, they swear up and down, you know, of course the people selling it swear. But actually, no, it got rated by some magazine. It didn't get ranked number one, or it got ranked like number four of a list of five, but the best bargain airbag. And I know what you're saying. Why not buy the, you know, I don't have $600. I just told you. Mrs. Rock is trying to kill me right now. Um... I think I'm okay with these foot pegs, so I don't think I'm going to get any new foot pegs anytime soon. I think I'm okay with, you know, I didn't get the heated grips, but again, that's something I'll consider. Ooh, is that look like a little, no, yeah, it looks like some little specks of ice mixed in with that, so we're going to be careful. Um, that's the one, oh, see if we can get around this, we can. If you can't get around it, ride straight over it. You know, if you can't get around it, ride straight over it. Get straight up and down, move straight, no turns or nothing. Just get over it and keep it moving. I don't think dude installed my seat correctly. I kind of feel it clicking and ticking a little bit under my ass. So I'm gonna take a look at that later today when it warms up. See if that seat is installed correctly. 
Um, I don't know what else I want to tell you. Okay, this is just a ride. Nice little, you know, pleasurable view. The, you know, I love the handling on the bike. The suspension feels really good for my weight. I'm weighing 198 right now. So I don't even feel like I need to adjust anything. That's why I wanted to hit that pothole. And I wanted to see how it felt. But um, definitely, I'm, I'm giving the tubeless thing some consideration. I'm probably going to do some 3M tape on the inside, on the wheels, the next time I swap out tires. I'm going to go ahead and ride these tires for a while, see how they work. I'll probably do a review on these OEM Bridgestone 841s. Then I will, I'm actually going to purchase two sets of tires. I think I'm going to go with some Anarchy Wilds. And then I'm going to get something else, um, probably some, other, some more Pirelli Scorpions. I, I, I kind of like the Pirellis, especially on the street. They stick well. They're, they're nice on the, on the corners. They do well in rain. So I think I'm going to stick with the Scorpions for my street tires. And I'm going to get a pair of Anarchy Wilds for when I do get around to doing some off-road stuff. Um, damn it, I feel like I left something out. Mm, outside of that, it's a great bike. I'm satisfied. Um, more videos to come. Comment below. Click subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. All that other stuff that the people say. I don't really give a damn if y'all subscribe or not. But, you know, if you want to see what's coming up, then you want to subscribe below. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm supposed to say sexual. Because sexual actually makes people want to watch your videos triggers dopamines I guess I don't know sex sexual frick hump yeah I'm not really worried about being demonetized because I'm not monetized haha -ha, gotcha but um here we are lovely ride southern Maryland my favorite part of the world you don't have to be yours you don't have to agree chill um but having said all of that, rocket rolls over and out.